Holy Spirit power leads us to God. But we only have the Holy Spirit within us when we're truly born again. And if we, and, and there's a lot of ways of, you know, the different churches have different ways of getting there, saying a sinner's prayer, uh, the Roman road, there's all kinds of things. But when you think about God and you really make a connection to God, uh, like I did one time, and I was flying an airplane and I, took off through in this rainy overcast day and they broke out on top and there was this beautiful white carpet of clouds below me and a clear blue sky above. And I said, God, if you're really there, you have to let me know. And he did not right away, but over a period of time he did. And then once I realized it, then I made that commitment to him and that Holy Spirit power came upon me. And it changed my life. And it does that with everybody else. Now, the problem is that a lot of people don't keep the Holy Spirit in front of them or beside them or within them or they don't listen. And we have to be attuned to the Holy Spirit. If we're not attuned, we're not going to hear that still small voice within. And it's that still small voice that guides us. If we're doing something that isn't in God's holy will, his heavenly will, then we get this little nudge. That's not quite what I want. Uh, and you get to straighten it out. Sometimes the big thing is don't do it. You know, you, you hear that, that inner voice. But that's where the power comes from. And God will always lead us in the direction of his heavenly will. He's never going to lead us astray. And if something that you hear inside doesn't match, if it isn't loving, isn't according to God's heavenly will, and that's why you need to read the Bible, too, so you get to understand this. And it's not in the law. It's in the relationship with God. And that's what Jesus taught us. We needed to have this direct relationship. And he even promised that he would give us another helper. When he left, he would send us another helper. And that's the Holy Spirit. So, we need to listen to the Holy Spirit and follow the direction. And that leads us heavenward. But it's on our free will. We have to choose to listen to that voice of the Holy Spirit leading us to heaven, leading us to God. Because the closer we get, the closer we see heaven from earth. And bringing heaven to earth, which is what we're told to pray for, is the ideal. Amen.